everyone, my name is Raymond Mariello, and I wanted to talk to you guys about the question, why? I know a lot of times when we walk through really painful circumstances, trials that were unexpected, things that are just unfair in life that happen to us personally or to those we know, I know one of the big questions, even as a believer, is why did this happen? Why would you let this happen? I pray. Why would this happen? And I just, I want to put you at peace today if you have even struggled internally with the question why. Maybe feeling guilty for even asking God why things have happened the way that they have, why life has gone down the road that it's gone down, why the unexpected happened, why the unfair happened, why, why, why. I want you to know, and I just want to start by saying, God is not afraid of, nor is he intimidated by your why. He is not um, sitting up in heaven, concerned about his authority, even concerned about your right standing with him, when you ask him why. However, we also need to be at peace um, with the fact that we may not get the answer to that question on this side of heaven. Life is ugly. Jesus promised that we would have trials in this lifetime. Paul considered it joy when we have trials of many kind, when we are persecuted, we have to understand that once we give our lives to the Lord, that does not exclude us from a life of pain and a life of trial and tribulation. I wish it was, but it's just, it's just not. It's never promised to us. And if you were promised when you got saved that life would be completely um, removed and void of any trials or problems or pain, um, they lied to you. <laughs> um, I know our family, we've gone through uh, tragic situations, devastating situations, painful situations. And every single time that happened, I asked God, why? Why would you let this happen to our family? And just angry, angry that things happened the way that they did. And I never once felt like God turned his back on me because I had to wrestle with the why. Now, I think it's completely okay to ask why things happened. But what we need to realize is that we can't stay stuck in the why. I know sometimes we can get hung up on that. Sometimes something so devastating and tragic happens, something so unexpected happens that we are stunned and shocked that this has happened to us, that sometimes we can get stuck asking why, 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 why. Sometimes God is going to need us to close that book and not allow that question to keep us from stepping forward, continuing to move forward in life with faith. And that's what faith is. It's believing in something that you can't see. Believing that in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your trial, in the midst of the unknowing, that you still trust and believe that God is still good. What you're walking through isn't good. What you've had to deal with isn't good but God is still good. And I would say at the beginning of my journey, when I became a believer, when, when the hard things would happen, I would be crippled with why, with doubt, with unbelief. Um, and to be honest with you, every single time tragedy has struck our family, he has never left me. He has never... Um, abandon me. He's never let me just flounder and figure it out on my own. Even when I've shaken my fist at him in rage, 
because I didn't understand. He never once turned his back on me. And every single time, and he even showed me this mental picture that he held me in the palm of his hand. He never let me go um, through my crying, through my questioning, through my pain, through the seasons I've had to wrestle with God on certain things. Um, but now when pain hits, it still hurts. You know, we're still human. But he has been so constant and he has been so consistent through every single one of those circumstances that I don't question that he's going to open a door, provide a way, heal wounds, restore broken things. I, I, don't, I don't doubt that he'll do that. The thing I now have to wrestle with is his timing. I have to have peace with his timing is, is perfect. His timing is better than mine. But I haven't stopped asking why. And I think all throughout our life, even kids, kids are curious. They ask questions about everything, which drives me bananas. But they're just naturally curious. And I think somewhere along the line, we will stop asking why about the wonders of God. But we will consistently ask why about the hard things in life. I'm a good person. Why did this happen? I was faithful. Why was my spouse unfaithful? I raised my kids in the church. Why did they drift? These are all very real questions that um, many people wrestle with. I thought I was set free from that addiction. Why am I so overwhelmed with the desire to do drugs or to drink excessively? Why? And as I was really praying about this and kind of really processing through these, this question in particular, this why in life, especially in the hard times, God brought me back to the fact that Jesus also asked God why in a very painful moment when he was hanging on that cross. And it says in Matthew 25, let me find it really quickly. Oh, I'm sorry. Matthew 27, verse 46. It says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? As he was hanging on the cross, knowing what he was doing was for the salvation of all mankind. He still, in his moment of pain, asked God why. And I think it was to fulfill prophecy, for sure. But I also think that this is a beautiful picture God painted of Jesus's humanity. In that moment, he was fully God and fully man. And it is displayed so beautifully in that moment on the cross. He was beaten for us. Uh, the guilt and the shame that we should carry, the condemnation that we should carry was placed on him as he was physically and literally nailed to a cross, flesh hanging on to his back, bleeding, barely able to breathe. He was human. His body was fragile and broken and bruised for us. And in that moment of humanity, he asked God the same question that we ask, why? And at no point in time did God look at Jesus and take away the fact that he was our savior in that moment because of his question, why? So I just want to show you that you have a savior, Jesus, that um, you can relate to on a very real and personal level because he was in emotional pain, physical pain as he hung there on the cross doing what it is he came to earth to do. And he still in his humanity asked God why. And God didn't remove uh, the, Jesus's purpose and mission from him because of that question. 
And so maybe you are struggling or you are wrestling or you are feeling really conflicted um, or maybe even condemned because you have asked God why and you think I should have all the faith in the world. No matter what I face, no matter what I walk through, the question why should never come out of my lips. It should never be a thought that I have. And I want to give you some peace and let you know it's okay to ask God why. We ask God why birds fly. We ask God why flowers look the way they do. We ask God why kids for about 17 years are crazy people. Like we ask God these questions, why? But for some reason, when it translates to us walking through a painful season, we can feel convicted about asking why. As if we don't have the right to ask God that question anymore when trial comes our way. And I want you to know it's it's okay. It's okay to ask why. And sometimes he will answer and sometimes he won't. And in the times when he doesn't answer that question, I want to encourage you to open your eyes to something else God will want to show you or teach you. That even though he may not answer why, he may show you, I am still your provider. I will still restore. I will still heal. I will still open doors. I will still move mountains. I am still a God of justice. I am still a God who loves you fiercely. So we will walk through life with the why unanswered. And that's okay too. Because God has never failed us and he's not going to start now. Pain will come. It's just a part of life. But um, I, I don't want you to feel guilty for asking the question why, but I also want to encourage you to not get stuck in the why. Don't get stuck in that place of questioning, in that place of pain. At some point, we have to move past the why and step into a posture of faith. Trusting and believing and knowing that God is going to take care of us. It hurts, and God understands it hurts. Jesus can relate to this pain. And so we have a Savior that, that we can pray to. We have a God who is not afraid of our questions that we can pray to, who will give us peace and comfort when we feel like our lives are in complete ruins, in complete chaos. So I just hope that this encourages you, those of you who are walking through seasons that are painful, circumstances that were unexpected, tragedies that you didn't see coming. And I want to let you know why is okay. But at some point, release yourself from why and step into faith, believing that God loves you, he believes in you, he is for you, and um, he will provide for you in these seasons in ways that you've never seen him provide before. So I hope that this encourages you. I hope that um, you'll share this with somebody that it would encourage and that they can relate to. Like this video, um, follow me on YouTube with the subscribe button, um, and I will see you guys soon.